so hey guys today i'll teach you how to make a water tank and so let's get started the first thing you have to do you have to open uh, i'll open uh, any browser and then i'll take out a reference image for your info, uh, for your reference uh, just for basic reference and we'll tweak it a bit and we'll create it in our, in our own way so Yeah. So if you see here, the water tank is basically uh, in a uh, in a slender kind of thing. So we'll take a basic reference for it. I think this is fine for bases or this one. But anyone I can take. So I'm just gonna take this one as a reference, and I'm gonna go back going back to Maya. Take a. I'll take one one second one cylinder is enough and now what you have to do is select it with W and now press R to scale it sorry and then scale it a bit till this much is fine and then move it up to get it to zero I think let's first go to It's fine and now I'll move it up from side view. It's fine. Now what you have to do is I'd have to go and first add uh, press shift and right click. You know see insert edge loop tool. There's a box square kind of thing on the right side. You press that and then you get multiple edge loops. You press you just see first go and see how many edge loops are there. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four. There's the four is two. So they just start four. Yeah, this fine. So as this. Yeah, see, it add it adds the edge loop over there. And then what I see now, what you have to do is that I have to press W again. And press shift. Press F8 first to go into uh, object mode. Then press shift and edge loop again and then go select and then go uh, go to one or like just say relative one and then go here zoom in and just, just put it over there one second just do it on your own hotkey how like how big you want the center part to be so like if I want this center one to be less you can just do it on your own like just if you want this to be big then you can create a bigger gap if you want to be small then you can create a smaller gap it's your choice so I'll do this, I'll finish this and think this is fine. This is not fine. Think guys. This is not fine. No, this is no no. And this is okay as well. As long as it looks fine, it should be fine for you. I think this is okay. So now what you do is you go here, press W, and then press F8 to select the object. Go to object mode and now go to side view and just zoom in a bit and then right click go to face zoom in a bit more and select all of these faces so that you can select the whole row and then now you press R and scale it down a bit just a bit and then now scale it normally just 
just a bit and then scale it latitude layer. This looks fine. Press 4 for wireframe mode. Well, we don't want this to smoother. We want it to be smoother. This is fine as well. Normal. This. Yeah, that's fine. This is okay. And I'll do it again. This is fine. And then I'll scale it down. Not to be just like this one. Uh, this is fine as well. This is okay. Just increase it a bit more. What we can do is we can. What we can do is a much easier way of doing it. What we can do is we can scale it down till press shift to extrude and scale it till this line. So you see this line? This this line? Scale till there and now scale this one as well till here. And it's much it will be much easier for you to do it. And now again do the same thing with the shift. This is this is much easier for you as well. And it's a much faster way of doing it. You save a lot of time in scaling them. I think this is okay now. Basics. This one. Mm, yeah, this looks okay. And now what I have to do is you have to create this curving kind of thing. So what we'll do is first we will see if this three can create that curvish kind of thing. It can, but you still have the um, slope kind of thing. Very big slope. So you, what you can do is you can just go to one. You can you can press three to get the smooth. So what we'll do is we'll uh, first we'll create a better bottom, and now we'll go into the. Bottom. I don't want to talk about I'm on bottom view. Bottom view. And I'll go here. I'll select this. I'll go to side view. I'll deselect this. Sorry. Alt. Yeah. So you press Alt for deselecting. You select something. And now I will extrude it a bit inwards. And now I'll go to the side view. And I'll first get this. And then here I'll go to the bottom view so like you can get two views together, it's much easier for you to work. Extrude it a bit, just a bit, and then let's go here and just see how much extrude I put and just put this much and then now press R again. Extrude out. So yeah, so yeah, look into the uh, laptop a lot because it's much easier for me to see and now you can extrude out and now you can just dial it in and so yeah do it again that's that's fine I guess yeah, that's fine. okay and now I will select it again. Deselect, sorry. I'll deselect this. I will scale it down. I'll move it up. Sorry, move it up. Scale it up once. Then I'll scale it down a bit again. And I'll move it up again. And now I'll see. Yeah, this looks fine for now. What you can do next is you can just select um, this one, this one, it's like something like opposite. One thing, guys, one, this one, and this one. To left, this one, and this one. This one, and this one. One, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, four. 
One, two, one, two. Let's have to give the basics. I don't want any. Let me go to the side view. So, I guess. No, nah, this is fine. This is perfect. Perfect. And now, if you press 3, hopefully it will be okay as well. Uh, it looks fine. So, like, you get the bottle bottom. If you see a plastic bottle, like a Coke bottle or something, you see those bottoms, you can just see it here as well. Like, same bottoms. So that I can give you support if it's down there. And I'll create some extrusions over here as well. I'll press one again. And off the other. So you see this? You see that uh, it could it could be an anti-slip clip or something. What I'll do next is I can when I'm um, when this is done, I'll convert this into smooth instead of uh, I'll put smooth in it so it's much smoother instead of just angular. Now if I go here, it's like that. Okay, create this. Okay. Fine. I have to take this one second. I have to take this and put it okay. So you guys select this, you press Alt to deselect this, then you sorry, then you extrude it a bit upwards, you move it inwards. Um, okay. Extrude it again upwards. So I'll create something different now instead of creating like that so something like this like the top part of that so i can just so this upwards now and that looks fine so i'll extrude this next do the same thing this this I'll press r sorry R again, scale it in. R again, to extrude it in moments. R again, to push it downwards. R again, to extrude it in moments. R again, to push it upwards. R again, to scale it in moments. R again, like more towards in moments so that you can create that. Um, that hold kind of thing so now this is done now this is done so I'll just select two or like it just has one on it so I'll just select one here one here one here one here one here and that's enough I think that's enough. I'll extrude it outwards and then I'll scale it inwards and that looks fine. That looks fine. Now I what I'll do is I will scale it out, press F8 and this looks okay for the first thing. And this looks fine. Now if I press 3, hopefully it will work. Yeah. It does so what I'll do is I'll create uh, I'll put an edge loop I'll just do it right now one I'll put an edge loop here so that it doesn't yeah now I think it will work Oh, 
hopefully it will work. So I'll press 3 again. Press F8. And you see, now it has become a uh, linear thing, even if, even if, if I smooth it. Even if I smooth it. So if I smooth it, I've put in smooth, but it still has the linear thing. If I don't put in, if you don't put in the uh, edge loop, then it will not be smooth. So it just constrains the line uh, to become straight. That's done. This is done. I have to do the same thing for here. I'll press one again and I'll put as low here as well. So if I press three now, see now it's become constrained again. Yeah, that's fine. See, this has become straight again. Fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, yeah. So guys, this is the first part of the how to make a uh, um. So guys, I uh, hope you guys like the first part of how to make a tank, water tank. And if you guys like it, please hit the like button down below. And please hit the subscribe button down below on the left, uh, on the left side which just hit it so that I can have more motivation to make more videos like this and I keep making videos like this so hope you guys like it so I'll catch you guys in the next video peace then the second part will come out in a few days and I'm uploading these videos uh, every week so just hit the like button subscribe to uh, to know to be notified of more videos like this peace out